Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we'll discuss Matter Silk, what it is, where it comes from, and why it's so highly prized among menswear enthusiasts. Chances are that as a viewer of the Gentleman's Gazette channel, you've probably got at least a passing familiarity with different kinds of fabrics and what goes into them. If you'd like to learn more, though, we have several comprehensive fabric guides on our website, many of which have companion videos. You can find our overview page on the website here. For example, we recently covered the super terminology of worsted wool suits and what that means in greater depth. If you're interested in that topic, you can find the related video here. Today we're covering another fabric term with a bit of mystique surrounding it, matter silk, also sometimes referred to as ancient matter. Before we discuss fabrication, though, let's cover the history. We'll start with the name itself. The matter in matter silk simply refers to a plant rubia tinctorum, also called rubia tinctoria, common matter or dyer's matter, from which, as you might expect, natural dyes can be extracted. Use of the plant dates all the way back to 1500 BCE, and it's also been used in such various locations as Africa, Greece, Italy, and Central Asia. In other words, it's been used since ancient times, hence the term ancient matter, as a dye for leather and fabrics including cotton, wool, and silk. A piece of cotton dyed with matter has been recovered from the archaeological site at Mahenjo-daro, now in India, and historical figures such as Pliny the Elder and Charlemagne wrote about matter. Focusing for a moment on how the dye itself is actually produced, it starts with harvesting the plant after about two years of growth. Then, by drying and fermenting the roots of the plant, red dyes called alizarin and purpurin are extracted. These dyes were first isolated by the French chemist Pierre-Jean Robiquet in 1826. Alternatively, the roots can also be dissolved in sulfuric acid, which leaves a dye called garance, which is the French word for matter. In 1869, German chemists were able to synthesize artificial alizarin dye, effectively ending the need for cultivation of natural matter roots. And relating our historical overview specifically to the topic of menswear, matter silk ties, primarily produced in England, became a staple of ivy style on college campuses beginning in the 1930s. As an alternative to the rep stripe patterns that were standard at the time, matter ties were often seen either in paisley or in small repeating geometric patterns. According to author and menswear historian G. Bruce Boyer, they were considered the king of campus ties, inevitably more expensive than the other ties, but more prestigious and discriminating. By the way, if you're interested in a complete overview on ivy style, you can find our video on that topic here. All right, now that you know where matter dyed silk comes from, let's discuss why it's so highly prized among menswear aficionados. While natural matter root produced primarily only red dyes, the modern dyeing process for matter can produce a wide array of rich, saturated hues. Most of these colors are on the darker end of the spectrum. Think, for example, of colors like mustard, forest green, burnt orange, deep blue and violet, and of course, red and burgundy. Matter ties are now always printed on a twill silk fabric that has been treated with gum arabic, leading to a distinctive finish and feel. This is referred to by the experts and those in the industry as a chalk hand. Specifically, the silk used is first boiled to remove its natural gum, which is an organic resin. Then, the silk is dyed whatever color or colors it's going to be, and then artificial gum is added back in to give the tie that distinctive chalky feel. And regarding pattern choices, as we mentioned previously, matter ties are almost always produced in either paisley or repeating geometric designs. This combination then of the rich but subtle colors and the neat but intricate designs will give a matter tie an unmistakable touch of refined class. 
Matter ties will then be visually interesting and somewhat playful, but also suitably formal for a wide variety of situations. And speaking of different levels of formality, if you're curious about how what you should wear depends on the formality of a situation, you can find our dress code primer video here. Now that you're hopefully sold on the reasons why matter ties are so revered, the question does remain, where can you buy them? While fewer manufacturers today produce matter ties than was true in the previous century, there are still a few retailers who carry them. These manufacturers would perhaps most famously include Drake's of London, but there are also others such as J Press and Sam Hober. For a great selection of authentic matter silk ties though, you fortunately don't have to look any further than right here at Fort Belvedere. This then begs the related question, what makes our Fort Belvedere matter silk ties so special? Firstly, production of matter silk is a difficult multi-step process of screen printing and only the highest quality silks can be used. As a matter of principle then, Fort Belvedere sources all of its ancient matter directly from England. To produce a blue matter tie, for example, a natural white base cloth will be outlined with a pattern and highlight colors would be applied to certain areas. Once the pattern printing is finished, the fabric is immersed in an indigo bath, rendering the omitted areas matter blue. And in addition to their rich colors, Fort Belvedere matter silk ties also feature the distinctive chalk hand of genuine matter neckwear. Our ties are untipped, sport fine hand-rolled edges, a carefully chosen interlining chosen for ideal knots, and a signature green three-ply silk yarn from Germany for additional durability. Finally here, Fort Belvedere offers three different lengths of ties so that any man can properly size the tie that he wants for his specific height. On that topic, if you'd like to learn more about ties, you can find our playlist on the subject here. Setting aside genuine matter ties for a moment, it is true that you can find imitations out there. But of course, it should go without saying that a true gentleman will demand the genuine product. One final note today, what are the best ways to wear a matter silk tie? In the most general terms, they're particularly well suited for fall, although they can be worn year round depending on how you choose to incorporate the color palette into your outfit. As an example, you could combine a tweed jacket or full suit with an Oxford cloth button-down shirt and a matter silk tie for a distinctly ivy-style inspired look. In addition to tweed, most heavier fabrics with some heft and texture to them will pair well with matter silk ties, such as, for example, the camel hair jacket I'm wearing today. And if you're curious about tweed in particular, you can find our video on that subject here. Regarding dressing for fall, you can find our video on 11 must-haves for the fall season here. Overall then, given that Matter Silk has an historical pedigree just as rich as the colors it produces, Matter Silk ties should be a staple of any discerning gentleman's wardrobe. You can check out our selection of Matter Silk ties as well as pocket squares in the Fort Belvedere shop, and you'll soon see that it truly is a matter of taste. As you may have guessed, my outfit for today's video features both a matter silk tie as well as a matter silk pocket square, both from Fort Belvedere. The tie is in orange red and it features a repeating geometric pattern in buff. Meanwhile, the pocket square is in dark bronze and it features a red and green diamond pattern with a paisley border. Between the paisley pocket square and the geometric pattern tie, both of the main patterns for matter silk are represented in today's outfit. To harmonize well with this warm color palette then, I'm wearing a camel hair sport coat and a yellow French cuffed shirt from Charles Tirrett. My trousers are in plain brown in a shade that's a little bit darker than the camel hair color, and my socks are in buff to harmonize with the shirt and the pattern on the tie. They also feature a pattern which is a geometric pattern of repeating squares. My tan cap-toed derby shoes go well with the jacket and they feature a little bit of broguing along the cap-toe. They're from Alan Edmonds. Also from Fort Belvedere today are my cufflinks, which are gold-plated sterling silver links in an eagle claw design and featuring tiger's eye as the stone. 
as well as my boutonniere, whose flower is white phlox. You can find the matter silk tie and pocket square, as well as the boutonniere and cufflinks, and a wide variety of other menswear accessories in the Fort Belvedere shop here. Thank <laughs> you.